Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech and Target. I am Hemant, and in this video, we will be solving aptitude questions which were asked in Mindtree on May 2021. So, without any further delay, let's get started with the video. So, the first question says: So, uh, how many years ago was the ratio of Ramesh and Suresh, whose age is 50 and 70 years respectively, was equal to 2 is to 3. So the key point that you have to take note of is, so their present age, right? So let me uh, select this. And yeah, so the uh, present ages of Ramesh and Suresh are 50 and 70, right? So the age of Ramesh is 50 and the Suresh is 70 years. So he's having 50 years and he's having 70 years. Now they are asking us, so how many years ago, right? So which means, so from the current uh, current age, how many years ago was their ratio of ages was equal to 2 is to 3, right? So that means we have to subtract certain uh, number of years from their current ages and we have to kind of find the ratio between them. So whenever we get the ratio as 2 is to 3, then we will select that type of option as our answer to this question. So I hope I made it clear. So let's get started with the solution. So if we see here, so we are given with four options here. So we'll try out each option and we will try to find out the ratio, what it will be. And if that turned out to be two is to three, then we will return that as an answer. So let us try with the option A, which is 40 years. Now the current ages of Ramesh and Suresh are 50 and 70 years. So from 50 years, if I try to subtract 40 and from 70, if I try to subtract 40, what will happen? The ratio would be, so the 50 minus 40 would be 10 years and 70 minus 40 would be 30 years, right? 70 minus 40 is 30. Now, if I try to uh, get the ratio of it, so 10 divided by 30 would be 1 is to 3, so which is not equal to 2 is to 3. So the option A is not the right answer for this question. Now, by looking at this option itself, we can say this will not be the solution for this uh, uh, question because the present ages are 50 and 70. If you try to subtract 80 from any one of them, both of them will turn out to be a negative value. So a negative value of age doesn't exist. So that's why we can directly tell that option B is not the right answer. Now going for this uh, third option, which is 10, we'll check it out, right? So the current ages are 50 and Suresh is having 70. Now, if I try to remove or subtract 10 from each of them, what do I get? So I get 70, uh, I get 40, so 50 minus 10 is 40 and 70 minus 10 is 60. Now, if I try to get the ratio, so zero and zero gets canceled. This is two twos are, and this is two threes are. So the final ratio is two is to three. So is this equal to this two is to three? Yes, it is. So I will select this option as the solution for this question. So yeah, uh, this is it for this question and we'll move, to, move on to the next question, right? Now, so this question says, what will be the angle formed between the hour hand and the minute hand in the clock at time is equal to 635? Okay, now, so we know that, how will be the clock look like? So how the clock looks like? So this would be something nearly equal to this, right? So this would be our clock and this is one, two, this is four, five, right? So this would be 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, then seven and eight here. So this is seven, this is eight, this is nine, 10, 11. So this would be 10 and this would be 11. Hey, right. now they are asking what would be the uh, angle between the hour clock, uh, hour and, and the minute hand, right? So at six o'clock, uh, the hour hand will be here, right? So the hour hand will be here and the minute hand would be here, right? So it would be something facing like this, right? So there will be 180 degree, right? So 180 degree between the uh, hour hand and the minute hand. Now, so whenever you get uh, this type of questions related to clocks, uh, you can solve it uh, using n number of ways, right? So the first way is using the formula, right? So we have a formula, well-known formula, which is angle is equal to 11 into 
minutes, right? 11 into minutes minus 60 into current running hour divided by two, right? So if you try to submit, uh, you know, if you try to uh, uh, put on the values uh, in the correct positions, then you will you will be able to get the angles there, right? So we want to find the angle between the hour and the minute clock, right? So this is what we are trying to find out, and this would be equal to 11 into minutes. So what is the minutes they have given? They have given 35. So 11 into 35 minus, so 60 into hours. So what is the current running hour there? So the current running hour uh, they have given is six, right? So six is the hour that is currently running. So this is divided by two here. You know. Now, after this, if we uh, further simplify it, so 35 into 11 would turn out to be 385. And from that, if you want to subtract, six times 60 would be 360 divided by two. So 385 minus 360 is 25 and 25 divided by two would be 12.5, right? So this is the uh, answer, right? This is the angle formed between the hour clock and the minute clock when the time is 635. So option A is the right answer for this question. Now, is this the only solution possible, right? So no, this is not. So there we can solve this using logical thinking also. How to do that? Okay, let me tell you that, okay? So, yeah. Now let me clean up this board. And after this, we'll be seeing how to do that logically, right? Okay, great. Now, if you see here, now, uh, if you carefully observe the clock, right? Uh, your hour clock, I mean, uh, hour hand. So in one hour, in one hour, the hour hand will, you know, okay. So first of all, we'll try to uh, see what are the angles formed between each of the uh, hour, right? So first of all, so from this 12, if we traverse the entire uh, clock, then this would be 360 degree, right? So if I start from here, and if I complete the entire revolution, that would be 360 degree, right? Now we know that from 12, to three, right? From here to here, this is 90 degrees, right? So from 12 to three, it is 90 degree. And there are three exact divisions, right? So this is one division. This is second division. This is third division. So the angle of 90 degree is equally divided among all these three divisions. So from 12 to one, this would be 30 degree. And from one to two, this would be 30 degree again. And from two to three, it would be 30 degree again. So we have 30 plus 30 plus 30, which is 90. And the same thing repeats for all the divisions, right? So because all of the divisions, uh, all of the quarter divisions uh, that we have got that are three to six, six to nine and nine to 12, all of them are having 90 degrees and each quarter of them are having uh, three divisions, right? So three equal divisions and each of the division will take up 30 degree, right? So this also 30, this also 30, and this also 30, right? Now, in one hour, uh, your uh, hour hand will cover. So let's say if my hour hand was at 12 o'clock, then at, if it was facing 12, then after one hour, it would reach one, right? So what does that mean? After one hour, this would reach, uh, I mean, this would have covered 30 degrees, right? So from 12 to 1, it is 30 degrees. So our hand in one hour would cover 30 degrees. Now, if you want to find out uh, how much uh, distance, uh, how much angle it would cover in one minute. So the same thing. So our hand in one minute, it would cover what? So 30 degrees by, so how many minutes will there be in uh, uh, one hour? So it would be 60 minutes, right? So this would be so 31s and 32s, so 1 by 2 degree or 0 0.5 degree. So every minute your hour hand will move 0, it will make an angle of 0 0.5 degree. Now in the same way, what will the minute hand cover? So the minute hand in one hour, it will cover. So in one hour, the minute hand will travel, will start traveling from here and will come back to here in one hour. So that would uh, that would be 360 degree, right? So we know that clearly, right? So it will cover 360 degree. Now the same minute hand. So in one minute, how much angle will that cover? 
So this is similar to that. So 360 uh, divided by, so uh, in one hour, we will be having 60 minutes, right? So 60, uh, 360 divided by 60. So 0, 0 gets cancelled. This is transferred. So 6, 1 is 6, 6, 6 is 36. So uh, minute hand will travel 6 degree per minute. And your minute or, or your hour hand will travel 0 0.5 degree per minute, right? Now, what will be the relative, uh, you know, relative distance between these two, uh, relative angle formed between these two uh, uh, hands, that would be 6 minus 0 0.5 degree, which is 5.5 degree per minute, right? Now, so how to solve this question with this knowledge? So basically, we have to find out what will be the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand at the current given hour, right? So what is the current given hour? The current given hour is 6 o'clock. Now at 6 o'clock, what will be the angle formed between the hour hand and your minute hand? So at 6 o'clock, the hour hand will be facing 6 exactly and the minute hand would be facing 12 exactly. So which is, so from here to here, we know that it is 180 degree. So you store it somewhere, right? You will keep it somewhere. You will keep that for now somewhere, right? Now after that, what you will do, you will calculate the, uh, what will be the angle formed uh, after 35 minutes. Now after 30, so this is a minutes they have given, right? So 35 minutes is what they have given. And in 35 minutes, what will be the uh, dist uh, angle covered by, uh, you know, angle covered between these two hands. So for every minute, it is covering 5.5 degrees. And after 35 minutes, how much angle they would have covered? So the angle between them would be 35 into 5.5, right? So if we solve this 35 into 5.5, so we will get 192.5. Now, what we have to do is we just have to subtract this from this. Like if we want to subtract, so which is bigger value? 192.5 is bigger. So 192.5 minus 180 and which would turn out to be 12.5. So the option is correct. So you can solve it anyway. But the thing is, you should be knowing all this in all these things beforehand. So if you want to solve this or if you just want to remember the formula, you can do that as well. So depending upon the situation and the difficulty level of the question you have to choose which one which method to opt for which question right so with that being said let's move on to the next question so the question says find the product of three consecutive numbers whose sum is uh, 75 so what is the meaning of consecutive numbers so consecutive numbers means they are continuous numbers right so uh, continuous number means, so for example, if the current uh, first number is, let's say 10, then the next number would be 11 and the next number would be 12. So what is happening here? So if this is your X, then this would be X plus one and this would be X plus two, right? So if this is X, this is X plus one. If this is X, then this would be X plus two. So if I, you know, if I sum all of them, x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 that would turn out to be 75 now what they have given so what they want us to do so they want us to find the product now what will be the product it would be x into x plus 1 into x plus 2 so this is what they are trying to uh, this is what they are asking us right so if we solve this equation we have got so 1x plus 1x plus 1x this would turn out to be 3x plus 1 plus 2 would be 3 that would be 75 so 3x is equal to 75 minus 3 3x is equal to 72 x is equal to 72 divided by 3 so this would be 3 ones and 3 twos and 3 fours so x is equal to 24 now we have got x is equal to 24 now we just substitute the value of x in this equation so 24 into 25 into 26 right so 24 plus 1, 25, 24 plus 2, 26. So if you do this, we will get 15,600. So option B is the right answer for this question. So we'll move on to the next question. So the same, you know, they're asking the same uh, concept of clocks here. So if you remember the formula, so it was angle is equal to 11 into minutes minus 60 into current running hour divided by Two. Okay, you will keep this uh, formula 
uh, and we'll use it in a minute, right? So at what time between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. does the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand will be 30 degrees? Now they have given the angle already. Now we have to find out at what time it will happen. Now what time it will happen? What does that mean? So we have to find uh, like the time or the minutes between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. when you, the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand would be 30 degrees, right? If we just go on and substitute the whatever the values that we have got. So what is the angle? We have got 30 degrees. So we'll write it here and 11 into minutes. So this is the thing that we have to find out, right? So minus 60 into hour. So this is very critical now. So what does this hour mean? So this hour means that which is the actual running hour at this moment. Now, between if that is 8 p.m. and 9 p.m., what will be the current running hour? So the current running uh, hour will be 8 because they, uh, they say that between 8 and 9, we have to find out the time. So that means the 9 p.m. has not yet reached. So we have to find out between 8 and 9. So that means the current running hour would be 8, right? So we have to take as 8 divided by now if I send this this side, so 30 into 2, if I just do cross multiplication, so 30 into 2 is equal to 11m minus 60 into 8. So 32 is 60 is equal to 11m minus 480, right? Now this 11m would be equal to 480 plus 60, right? This 480 plus 60 would be 540 and if i send this 11 this side so 540 divided by 11 now this 540 divided by 11 would be 49.090 now we know that the current uh, running hour is 8 and this is the minutes that we have got so 849 so this is the solution for this question so option is the right answer now moving on to the fifth question so we know that the direction are given like this so this question is related to directions right now we know that so this is north this is south this is east and this is west right so this is the uh, direction map that we uh, know from very long right the question says a clock is hung on the wall in such a way that the minute hand points to the north at 9 pm okay great in which direction will the hour hand point at 6 pm so you have to make uh, you know give very much uh, 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 you know you have to listen carefully here so what they are telling you is so the minute hand points to north at 9 pm and they are asking in which direction will the hour hand so they have given the direction of the minute hand there and they are asking you the direction of the hour hand now if we draw the clock so how would it would how it would look like? So let's say this is your clock. So here it would be 12, this would be 9, this would be 6, and this would be 3. Now, what they're telling, so at 9 p.m. they are given. So when they have given 9 p.m., the hour clock would be like this, our hand would be like this, and minute hand would be like this. Now, if this is the minute hand, and they have given minute hand points to north. So if you try to you know, map this with this, we will get something like this, right? So this would be north, this would be south, this would be east, and this would be west. Now, is this the minute hand? Yes. So minute hand is facing the north direction, right? So this means that we do not have to uh, rotate this map. So this is exactly perfectly fitting into it because the minute hand is facing the north direction. Yes, this is perfectly all right. And they are asking in which direction will the hour hand point at 6 p.m. Now, at 6 p.m., this hour hand will be facing the 6, right? So this is the hour hand and this is your minute hand. So they are asking in which direction the hour hand will point at 6 p.m. So at 6 p.m., the hour hand will point to south direction. So the option is B. So that's it. So that's it for this video. And in the coming video, we will discuss more such questions and coding questions which are asked in Mindtree. So till then, take care. Keep learning. Bye-bye.